Hi Floss Tube. It is Larley in the Lou. It has been a few months since I recorded a video. Um, with everything that's been going on, I don't really have an excuse. I just, you know how you just don't feel like it. So I just didn't feel like it. I have been doing a lot of stitching. I have been sewing a lot. Um, well, I guess in February for about two and a half weeks, I was really sick. I don't know if it was the virus. I don't, I don't know. I was really weak. I did have a cough. I didn't have a fever, but for about two and a half weeks, I had energy to just barely do the things I needed to do. So I didn't have any extra. So I and then after that, I was hot and heavy. I made about 100 face masks, and I donated those to um, neighbors and friends. And I have one of our neighbors is a nurse, so did that. So I'm still doing those face masks. So um, anybody local, St. Louis, Larley in the Lou, anybody need any face masks, I'm happy to do those. I sewed and sewed and sewed until I ran out of elastic. And then I had trouble ordering that. But I found some really good, some really soft, I don't know. And this came off of eBay, kind of a fuzzy elastic that feels really soft. Um, and I don't know specifically what kind it is. But anyway, everything's going good. And i um, sitting here in the dining room and the window is, I have a curtain open so the dogs are looking out. I've threatened them that, hey. Let's not be barking during this video, but they like to bark at everything that goes by. Um, there, that picture there, kind of like the front of our house. I painted that picture. Um, I really would like to redo it. It's not one that I, um, my original plan was to do one for all the seasons. That's like a spring one. Anyway, starting off with some cross stitch. And for... Anybody new coming on, I really appreciate you watching. And for all the, my few, <laughs> I don't have that many older ones. I really, I really, really appreciate you because I'm just, you know, struggling, trying to, to do a little floss tube. This wasn't, I got to finish, but this was an old, old one. You can tell because I actually, back in the day when I put masking tape, now I zigzag. I don't usually surge. But it's really cute. And of course, it's the old style of the geese. Right here is the kitchen. And I don't care. I still love, I have had probably for 40 years. Has it been 40 years? At least 30 years. I've had the country geese. Now I have, I have kind of slowed down. I don't go as crazy as I used to. But this will go perfect. <coughs> of course, I'm going to cough now that I'm on the, I'm finishing up a, protein shake so this was a lot of fun it was just when you think you're done then you find that you miss a spot <coughs> and this is not the virus this is just as soon as you get on floss tube that's what you do <coughs> and I might have to Go get me a different drink. Okay, so some of the whips. Let's talk about mania for a minute. When I try to <coughs> clear my throat. Hopefully that will do it. I am doing a combination of mania sania. Because I have lots of whips that I'd like to. Is this piece longer than the other side? <coughs> Who knows? <coughs> I don't know. I whack on it myself. I always have because I have curly hair. Oh, there's somebody going by with a dog. We might have to pause for a minute. Nope, I hate to. But, um, quiet. This is um, one of my whips, one of my most favorite. So, Mania Sania. I am doing a combination. And so I'm going to start a few, but mainly... I'm going to try to finish a few. So I'm um, trying to put a shaker on him. Just I shake a thing at him. And it, but there's bicyclists now going by. Oh, my gosh. So I'm trying to start a few. Can you say squirrel? We're going to probably not be able to video in front of the window again. 
usually I'm back in my sewing room, close the door, it's just us. But this is um, one of my whips in progress, one that I've been doing slow because I absolutely love it. My long dog sampler called Spangled. It was kind of my treat to myself. And I've made some good progress on it. Um, I finished up the house there. I, of course, I'm working over here, and I did some work there. And I'm getting used to the colors. Darker than I had thought, but it's still really, really pretty. I really like it. That's going to be finished as a, um, in a frame, eventually. It's in my Hello Kitty project bag. I put a Hello Kitty. Um, thing so we will we'll organize these later how about that my long-standing whip in progress is you guys have seen this one another bicycle Busilla antique shop antique store but that one it's really detailed and of course it is from 1995 so most of you know what that means back stitching and I'm not going to take it out of the hoop because I was going to, but I thought, hey, you can pretty much see that. You can see I have back stitch. This is all white, and I actually sewed it in. Sometimes I would want to cheat. But you can see, like, the little dog and the lamp. This here is a door. I think you can tell it's a door. But, um, and the ivy. So that's coming along pretty good, and the, um, that, I'm calling it a saw machine. I don't know if it is or not. Um, let's see. I guess we can look at the picture. Oh, no. It's a dry sink. It has a... Um, hoping you can see that. It has the, um, the picture on it. I actually have one of those somewhere as well. Now, this one, I have to open it and see... So those are the main um, works and projects I worked on. Um, and then plus this finish. This finish I worked on a lot. So now I have, and this is in my wild about stitching project bag, another bicyclist. Um, so this is an old whip. And so... I'm kind of calling it a new start because I have um, resurrected some of these old whips. And the way I can tell it's an old whip is that it has masking tape. But I thought this is real cute for the bathroom. Kind of fits in with now. Be seated. Bare bottoms welcome. And then wash your paws. And yes, I'm from... Mid St. Louis Midwest, so we say wash. I know there's no R. I lived in California for a while, and I couldn't get used to washing. I don't wash anything. I wash it. And we have a highway that runs through our town. We call it four, 44, not 44, 44. I don't know how you guys say 44. But anyway, but so here I've been working a lot on this. I had the blue and then just a little bit here. I'm having fun working on the bear. And, of course, you know what this has. You guessed it. It has cross-stitch. Back-stitch. Which, you know, I don't mind it. Although, and on the antique shop store, I'm trying to do it a little bit as I go along. Because otherwise, you get to the end... And you're like, you think, oh my gosh, I'm done. And then you've got all that back stitching. And on that one, there's a ton of back stitching. So I kind of wanted to do it as we go. Oh, oh, looking over here, I have a ton of haul. A ton. So if you like to see haul videos. Now this is a new, new, new start. It was from a kit and it had, I like how it had this. And where is the front? Of oh, no, this one's a finish. I have a new start and I have a finish here. I forgot about this finish. I was going to say, it seems like I worked more than 
that and because I did. This was a kit and it was Stony Creek Collection Home Sweet Home. Really cute. And since I'm in real estate, I changed it to say for sale and sold. So, and this is going to go on. I don't know if you remember, I bought about, I'm going to say six wood cigar boxes. And that is going to go on the top of one of those wood cigar boxes. So that I am looking forward to. Okay, so now we can go to a new start. And um, I'll probably have, I want to say, I'll probably do five new starts for Mania. And this was a kit. And actually, one of my favorite designers, I got this kit used off of eBay. Linda Myers. I'm doing the other one. Linda Myers with the house and the quilt and the border all around. This is one of the quilt samplers. And I think she had how many? I don't know. It says on here. Um, she's got a series of these. This is the ninth of the quilt samplers. So there must be a lot of them. But this is a Christmas one. So I thought this was unique. Isn't that cute? And it is called Art for the Needle. That can't be it. No. Country Christmas Blocks. Quilt Sampler number nine. Linda Myers. I love her stuff. So I have just, I started that. So, and there's, it's hard to see. The red is the poinsettia. The blue is the center. And the checkerboard is angel wings. So that is um, where we are in that. So we haven't got too far along on that, but I'm enjoying it. I'm not in a rut. My knees have been killing me with this. Um, we've had a lot of wet weather, and my knees have been killing me. So it's been nice to sit in the recliner and just do. Now, this is one I got also on eBay. Turns out, though, this one, I think, was probably originally off, like, AliExpress or... I got it from a local, you know, U.S. person, but I'm pretty sure this um, is from a foreign country. It's really pretty. I love it. And I, I'm, I'm halfway afraid they knocked off the pattern because I thought I had seen it um, someplace else, like in a series, spring, summer, but... Joy Sunday cross stitch and it's in a different language and I could be wrong but the, it has the floss included and the, the quality of the floss is bad it's on this if somebody knows if this is but it's kind of a it has more of a fuzzy feel it seems like it's going to fray and it came with the, just the plain white Ada. And I started doing it. And then I'm like, nope. So then I did the, um, I dyed it a little bit. Just because it was going to, the whole one side down here, I got a little bit of yellow. And there's a little bit of, there's supposed to be a little bit of yellow here. But so I'm just up here at the very start. And I'm doing the little bit of the crinic with the sparkly gold. I don't know if you can see that. But I don't know. You ever started something? I think it'll get better as I get to the lady. But I'm not overly motivated. It could be because I'm thinking, you know, once I got it in the mail, I'm thinking this is kind of a knockoff. And the quality is just not there. But I'm going to... I'm going to proceed with a while. So after I'd started it, then I decided to dye it. And that worked out okay because I did the, um, I have a tutorial about it. I did that, that one long piece, something about that side of my hair always bothers me, doesn't it? I'll have to whack off that piece. Um, I did the tissue paper 
art tissue paper, bleeding tissue paper. And it's real, you just wet the, I did a tutorial on it so you can find that, but you wet the, the cloth and then you lay down the tissue paper, the different colors, and then you use a spray bottle. And that way I could do it without um, messing up the stitching because I could work around it. So it came out a little bit darker than I wanted, but I think it'll be okay. We'll see. I may end up restarting it. You can probably tell I'm not totally... Um, dogs are doing pretty good. You should. I have a bunch of dog training videos on here. But, um, so they're actually doing pretty good. This one, the white one, the one that was barking, Dudley, and you've seen him in different videos, the big white poodle. I've been, I don't know if the word's sickly, but not as spry. I'd broken my arm, so I was down with that for a year, and now my knees. So he hasn't got, most, all my other dogs get full off-leash, and he's semi-off-leash. I don't totally trust him, but I would take him places off leash and really work him and he hasn't and take him to like the Home Depot and stuff. And he hasn't really had that because one, he's so big. And for two, I've been kind of in my house the last couple of years, even before we were quarantined. But anyway, okay. So a good dear friend of mine, we lived in California together. Marianne, we used to stay up late at night. We used to um, play canasta for M&Ms. And um, she'd go over my house. We met through dogs. I had great Danes at the time. And she had a little, ah, oh, must have been a four pound, four pound papillon. So I had my big old great Dane. And she'd have her little papillon. And people used to laugh at us. But we used to train them together. But anyway, she loved to cross stitch. And I cross stitched a little bit back then. This was in the 80s. But she was like, avid 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 well she has since turned to beading she makes these amazing beads and she has an etsy shop i'll link it down below but um i have an etsy shop too but i'm not real active right now i have cross stitch patterns some cross stitch kits um i took off the, the um my cross stitch project bags and just started using them but if you want uh, like the one i did there i do all kinds i do I did this one, just kind of a fun one. I did this one, which is the, um, that's a big one. It's just, well, just, that's just leftover fabric I had. But she sent me, and I did it in a, in a previous haul, this huge box of cross stitch. And she said she had more to come. Well, now she sent me the second box and it is amazing. So I'm going to show you some of that stuff. There's another bicyclist. One of them is going to be one of my new starts. So much of this is Christmas and Christmas ornaments. So this is the Bacilla Roses and Lace. Oh, won't that look pretty on the tree? And so it even has the felt back. Uh, and that's an, um, this, I did a sideways project bag. Don't know why. I had this material where it's it's kind of a canvas feel. So I thought, oh, that'd be great. So that is one of the whips. This other stuff is just haul that I got from her. Look at those. More Santa Christmas ornaments at sunset. Old fashioned Santa ornaments. And this is on the perforated paper. Not my favorite, I'm going to turn this around. Not my favorite, but I do it. Um, this, I don't know if I ever showed this. This, I got for $1.25 at an antique mall. Needlepoint. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the Andrew. But, but that was in this box, so I thought I would show you that. I might leave it up there. I mean... Who cares? This is another sunset one. Bird Homes Ornaments. OMG, this is cute. And this again, this actually feels like plastic. I wonder if the other one, perforated plastic. I think the other one was probably perforated plastic too. I'll look at, I'll read it. Wow. Oh, the other one said perforated paper. So it'll be interesting to see the difference. 
between. But aren't some of those houses really cute? So I am going to have my fill of Christmas ornaments. Yuletide Village ornaments by Dimensions. Ooh, ornament collections by Charles Wysocki. Now that's amazing. Now these are on um, Ada. So look at these. Little skaters, little Yuletide people, little sleigh. Typical Wysocki. And I love Wysocki. Charles Wysocki. This one is similar to ones I have, Jan Loon, that I've done. The little little critter ornaments. Oh, look at that. Sheep, raccoon, bunny, cat, deer, duck. What's in the bottom? Is that a little bear and another little bunny? Isn't that cute? And it has the little sticks. I made a few of these for Christmas last year. Some that were just like this that had the little wood sticks. Isn't this amazing? To just send it to me for just because. Oh, she also sent me. You know what? I might have to grab it. Or maybe I'll show it to you in the, the next one. Because these little mittens that you put on babies so they don't scratch yourself. But they're cross stitch material and they're little mittens. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I, I remember her always using these. These are the metal boards that you use the magnets and for your pattern. Good, be good for the needle minders. Cross stitch chart kit. This is, I guess, she did the kit, but you have this angel, which is Busilla. It's on Zweigart. Cornucopia angel. Isn't that cute? But it's got. Here's a dimensions kit. Silly snowman ornaments. Clear plastic canvas wire. Oh, we're getting some thunder. It's going to supposed to storm today. It is warm today. I want to say it's in the 70s. It's been chilly. Aren't those some cute snowmen? Let's see if I can do it without the glare. Isn't that... I'm going to definitely do. And this guy has some... I think that's why it's in plastic, so you can hang those birdhouses. She also sent two elephant corner. Oh, there's a police. And perforated paper. What made me think about it is he's cute. These are, I think these are bears. Bookmates. Oh, yeah, they are. It says bears. Bookmates. Look at those cute bears. So it's a bookmark. Wouldn't those make nice gifts or um, um, toppings for your um, your gift? Here's Dimension. Angels of Christmas Ornaments. Set of six. And this is on a metallic thread. Plastic canvas. How many Christmases would it take to make all this stuff? They sure are different. Look at this dress right there. That's amazing. Now this one kind of goes with the one I was going to start. Heavenly Angels, Priscilla. I think that's, hope that's how you say it, from 1990. Cost her $13 at Michael's. This is kind of like that vintage feel. This is Mary Maxim. Magnets. Home sweet home. Welcome everyone. Country kitchen and country time. And this is on fabric. But they would sure make ornaments or, you know, other stuff and then I have this has six ornaments perforated paper our hearts always come home for Christmas oh Bernard designs by Marianne Anderson I think I, I don't haven't seen a name for that but look at the the bear and then you have the, that one's the one we always come home for Christmas 
and the Christmas tree. So those are all kits. So that has everything you need in it. Isn't that cute? With the little house. And this, I think this was from the last time, the stuff she sent me. Look at all that. All these little ornament things. So I am fully set. So anyway, I think that's all for now. I've just been busy stitching. I'll try to update you again sooner um, on what's been going on in some of my stitches. I'll definitely, sometime during Mania, Sania, how would we com combine those? I don't know. My Sania Mania. I will keep you posted on how I'm doing. I really appreciate um, you know what we should do? Leave the comments below. Let me know which one of these, of this haul that you like the best. And we'll see if one of you can um, win it. I'll send it to you. So leave my com comments below. Let me know which one you like the best of the, the haul from Mary Ann. And we will do a giveaway. Anyway, this is Laura Lee in the Lou. I really appreciate you. I'm joining me. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments for the giveaway, and then also um, see the links. Marianne, because see the amazing things that Mary, all the beadwork that she does. Um, I'll talk at you later. Thanks. Bye.